What is up everybody? Welcome back for another video where we are going to be building a simple DIY um, roll away nesting boxes for your chicken coops. Really keeps your eggs clean as well as um, keeping them away from your chickens where they can't eat them. Um, I have had these installed for a couple weeks. I'm kind of showing it here where I've had it. It's not completely finished, but um, make sure to stick around to the end for some tips and things that I've learned along the way that you can implement. Um, that'll help out. Here's the dimensions that I use for my project. Um, I would make it just a tad steeper um, if you're going to be using like some uh, thicker grass or something as the uh, underlayment. But uh, other than that, this ended up being perfect. I'm just using normal plywood. And you could make these a little bit shorter and less spaces and use only one sheet of 4x8 um, plywood and it would be just fine. But uh, I just used a jigsaw to cut out um, all of my slats, and this is what's going to be standing up and down, and then you'll just put a sheet of plywood underneath, as you'll see as I move forward. Here you'll be able to see I'm going to be cutting out the base and the top for um, the nesting boxes. Uh, my, my spacing here was about 12 inches of space for the bird to be able to sit in. And so just depending on how many spaces you want to do, um, you'll make it long enough for that. All right, so I used a brad nailer to assemble all this as well as wood glue, and I've had it up for a while. Um, it's held together really well, really easily, um, and so it doesn't doesn't take much, especially since the plywood is kind of wider and the pieces aren't super big. Um, but basically, kind of the method I went with here is is to put a little bit of glue <clears throat> onto the surface of those uprights there, and then to to shoot a nail into them. To, to keep them there while they're staying steady and honestly I kind of eyed it a little bit on being level on the bottom here but you'll be able to adjust that um, when you do put the top on to, to make it you know perfectly level. Yeah, a little tip there that you can see. Um, if you are doing this on a windy day, make sure instead of just one brad nail in there where it can pivot, you put two like you just saw me do there um, to prevent them from falling over. Um, it's a small thing, simple, simple fix, but just prevents it from falling over as you're assembling. As far as the stall number goes, um, I went with seven just because that's, you know, the, the size that I needed to take up the space that I had. I have about 15 chickens, so this was a little bit overkill um, as, you know, they, they'll kind of lay where they want to. They'll share stalls and whatnot. So I would say a more general rule of thumb is, you know, one stall per three chickens, you would be just fine. Um, I don't have to use just as much space 
uh, but I was I built my coop. You can check out the other videos. Most of it was recycled material, so I just kind of built it as big as I could with what I had. And uh, then, so when I was maximizing my space, this is what I went with. Um, so put it for putting this top on like I'm doing. Just uh, make the same marks for the distances for your uh, uprights there, and so you can line it up. And this is where you can really fix the it being correct up and down. But this is it. This is the, the base of your uh, nesting boxes. You'll be able to see I'll replay that video from the beginning. Um, and uh, I installed it to where it rolls out of the coop. Um, I haven't had any problems with any animals being able to lift up that lid or anything. I'm sure if you are around like bears and stuff, then maybe it could become more of a problem. I don't have that problem. But uh, you could weight it down or just leave everything inside the coop and just... But just make sure you have a lid of some sort on where the eggs roll out. But uh, I used a turf, like a reptile turf. It's really thin and the eggs roll down very easily. And so just kind of, a, as I mentioned before, make sure to add a steeper angle if you're going to use some, some thicker material. But uh, I hope this works out well for y'all and I'd love to see your completed projects.